Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about how we can increase the size of a database. So, database can be expanded either by increasing the size of the existing data file in use or the log file in used or we can add a new file to the database itself to increase its size. And uh, we cannot add or remove a file um, while the backup is running in the background. So, this uh, this can be done via GUI mode in SQL Server Management Studio. We can increase the size of the file or add a new file. We can do this via GUI mode using SQL Server Management Studio. And this can also be done by issuing a T-SQL query. Uh, earlier we had seen how we can add a file to a database uh, in a different video. Uh, you may watch that. And in this video we will cover how you can increase the size of an existing file using the T-SQL query. We'll cover that uh, via demo. So first dig into the demo for how you can increase the size or add a file to an existing database using SQL Server Management Studio. So in order to do that, let me take you to SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, let's close out this query. And let's start from the beginning. You need to connect to the database by hitting on the connect button. Then you need to specify the instance to which you are connecting. In our case, we are using default instance. So just the computer name is mentioned, but instance name is not there. Uh, so let's connect to it. So in the uh, object explorer window, we have already connected to the instance of a SQL Server database engine and we need to expand the databases. Here we will work on test DB. So right click on the test db, go to properties and we need to go to the file section in the window that is opening. So on the left hand side click on the file section and here you can increase the size of an existing file. So here we have two primary or two data files present over here that contains the rows data. So let's try to increase the size of test db file, test underscore db file from 10 MB to 15 MB. Let me increase that. So I have increased it to 15 MB. Now let's click OK. Changes will take place. All right, so let me check that once again whether changes have taken place. So expand this window, go to file section. I can now see that the file of the or initial size of the file is increased to 15 MB. Now you can also add some additional files if you like via add button it will add a row where you can mention the file name with the initial size parameters that's the way to add the additional file and we had discussed this already in our other videos one of our other videos so you may watch that video to see how you can add files to an ex existing file list or to a database now we are done with the GUI mode where we have shown you how you can increase the size of one particular file you can increase the file file size of log file as well but for now we are just okay with increasing the size of the data file so uh, let's click on cancel button so the another way was to use our transact SQL statement to increase the size of an existing file so now what we will do we will increase the size of another file we have another file in here so I'm waiting for a test db window to open so it's open right now and let's go to the file section so earlier we have increased the file size of test underscore db file now we will increase the size of test underscore db1 from 8 to 10 mb so okay the file name is test underscore db1 we will increase the size from 8 mb to 10 mb via the query method so in order to do that you need to open up a new query window against the database which for which you are making modifications so please type in the code along with me so that you can also get some practice on writing some t sql queries so i need to alter the database in order to modify the file sizing so the statement should be alter database should be the statement and the database name is test db and after that I need I'm making modifications to the file so I need to issue the modify file statement and I need to provide parameters so 
I need to first provide the logical name of the file. What was it? So file name was test underscore db1 was the my logical file name. And uh, I want to increase the size to 10 MB from 8 MB. So I mentioned it as 10 MB. Now let's terminate the statement with semicolon and we can execute this statement by pressing F5 or hitting on the execute button over here on the toolbar. So I'm hitting F5 key on my keyboard. So the command has completed successfully. Now let's see whether the size is increased to 10 MB. Although the space should not be there between 10 MB, let's see whether it has increased it or not. Maybe it has taken it. So if I go to file section, I see the test underscore db1 initial size it's changed to 10 mb so we are fine over here so this is the tsql query to modify the size of any file you need to provide the logical file name and the sizing what initial size you want and it will automatically update the size now uh, let's close this window and uh, we are done with this video as well so let me take you back to notes uh, in this video we have shown you how you can increase the size of an existing file via the GUI mode in SQL Server Management Studio. You can also write a T-SQL query to perform the same action and we have shown you demo for both of them. So guys, uh, I thank you uh, for your time and uh, please hit the subscribe button and if you really like this video, please click on the like button and hit on the bell icon as well to get any future updates and also please share this video with your friends so that uh, they can also enhance their knowledge i thank you once again and you have a wonderful day ahead